Good morning, Raider Nation. This is Tim and Tim with a special edition of Raider Newscast. Uh, Tim, what makes this edition so special? Well, I'm glad you asked, Timmy. Because in this episode, we are going to feature the 2019 Outstanding Students of the Year and also honor the MASD staff who will be leaving the district to begin their much-deserved retirement. Timmy, what are you doing? When you're in presence of important people, you are supposed to uh, stand out of respect. Okay. That's very kind of you, but I think in this case you can remain seated. First up, we'd like to introduce you to the two MAMS Outstanding Students of the Year. Joining us in the studio today are Jaron Imler. Welcome, Jaron. Thank you, Timmy. As well as Katie Yoder. Thank you for being with us, Katie. No problem. Jaron and Katie are eighth graders at MAMS who not only have been academic scholars, but have also been involved in numerous activities. Both students are members of the National Junior Honor Society, and Katie was elected treasurer this year. Katie, it appears that you seem to have a strong interest in math and science. Do you want to talk about some of the activities you've joined to be help in those subject areas? Sure. Well, this is my second year being on the Science Olympiad team, and this year when we went, I actually placed gold in one of the events. I also do math counts, which I've done since sixth grade, and I was the team captain this year. It's led by one of my inspirational teachers, Mr. Mohar. Um, he really helped me kind of discover that math can be really fun and challenging. Do you play, do you play instruments or anything like that? or? I've been in chorus since fourth grade, and I've been in band since fourth grade as well. I play the flute. Katie was also on the Distinguished Honor Roll every single marking period as a middle schooler, was a member of PA Young Readers and Word Masters, was a finalist for the Spelling Bee, and is a member of the softball team. She is also on the WMSS radio team. Dang, when do you sleep? Jaron has also kept very busy during his time here at the middle school. He has demonstrated very strong leadership skills. So Jaron, why don't you tell us about some of the positions you've held here at MAMS? Well, I was in the student council this year and last year, but this year I was elected the president. And I'm a peer helper with Mrs. Bonneau, and I was also on the quiz bowl team. Which won first place this year, right? Yep. And aren't you also a musician and an athlete? Well, I'm not a musician anymore. I used to play the saxophone in 6th and 7th grade, but now I'm just on the cross country and soccer team. What, you're the captain of the soccer team? Yep. And, just like Katie, he's been on Distinguished Honor Roll every single marking period of his time here at the middle school. He also helps out with his church and plays club soccer. He's looking forward to playing with the high school team next year. So, Jaron, why don't you tell us about some of your teachers that influenced you here at the middle school? Well, Mr. Edder is one of them, and he was my social studies teacher in 7th grade, and he was my cross-country coach for 7th and 8th grade. And through cross-country, I just got to know him a lot more, and he just, like, inspired me to, like, be better. And he made social studies, like, a more fun class. And Mrs. Chambers is my English teacher for 6th and 8th grade, and she just made English, like, a whole lot more fun, and she just brought a lot more things into it. Definitely two teachers who have left a great impact on our school district. Congratulations to the both of you. Congratulations! So next up, we're going to head to the elementary schools where we have the rest of the outstanding students from the Middletown Area School District. So we're here at Kunkel Elementary School with two more outstanding students. We have Gabby Harvey as well as Tyson Snyder. So let's start with ladies first. Does that work for you, Tyson? Yeah, it does. Awesome. So congratulations, Gabby. Thank you. So now according to my notes, it looks like you've participated in Word Masters, Challenge, Math 24, and Continental Math League. You're also very talented musically. So why don't you tell us about some of your musical interests? I play the African drums and the xylophone during a recess. I play clarinet and help the kids who are new to band. So it seems like you like to help younger students. It also looks like you keep busy by playing soccer. Yeah, I'm the goalie for the Olmsted Angels and was just chosen to be on the Elite Girls Soccer Academy team. Wow, congrats. I bet your parents get really nervous when they see you playing goalie. Yeah, my parents didn't want me to do it at first, but they got used to it. So now I have one last question for you, Gabby. I've been told you have a secret talent. I'm a bargain shopper. A bargain shopper? Are you going to at least explain some of the bargains you found? Okay. So when I was younger, I found an American Girl doll. 
The original price is $115, and I found mine in a store for $2. Okay, I really need you to help me get a laptop or something for college, because I cannot afford it. So can you keep your eyes open? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let me know if you find something. So now we're going to go over to my main man, Tyson. How's it going, Tyson? I'm doing well. So it looks like you have a future in science. Do you want to tell us about some of your interests in science? I like to see things explode. What do you like to see explode? Coke and Mentos. Coke and Mentos? I'm assuming you've tried that before? Yes, I have. <laughs> okay. So now you're also involved in Word Masters Math Challenge, just like Gabby? Mm hmm Okay. And you're also in the band and involved in sports? Yes, I play baritone in the band and play travel baseball, soccer, and basketball. Now, have you ever considered getting a side job so that you can help your parents with gas money? Haven't thought about it. You may want to look into that, man. I really do congratulate you guys for being outstanding students. You guys have a great future ahead of you. You're involved in so much in the classroom, and it's an ex exceptional honor that you guys are definitely deserving of. Thank you. Thanks. And good luck in middle school, guys. Thanks. Okay. Welcome to Fink Elementary School for our introduction of the two outstanding students of the year. To my right, we have Haley Adams. Hello, Haley. Hello. And then over here, we have Connor Murphy. Welcome, Connor. Hello. So now I was told you both have the same favorite subject in school, which is? Math. And you've both been involved in Continental Math League? Mm hmm So Haley, why do you like math so much? Because Miss Rose makes math easy to learn, and I like to code. What do you do in coding? You basically make your own games and like you can make the characters that you do like move and stuff. And now Connor, your family says you're a math genius, so what makes math so fun for you? I like challenges and in math there are a lot of challenges and I like trying to solve them. Now you're also an athlete? Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell mm -hmm. us about some of the sports you play? I play on, on the Middletown Navy baseball team. I play basketball at Main Street Gym, and I swim, will take lessons in Penn State Harrisburg. Wow, so you're involved in a lot. That explains why you like gym class so much, right? Mm -hmm. Now Haley, you're also an athlete, but your sport of choice is soccer. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your soccer career? Um, I've been playing soccer since kindergarten, and I play on the Olmstead Angel soccer team, and I recently just got picked for the... Um, the Elite Academy. Wait, we just heard the exact same thing from an outstanding student at Kunkel. Are you teammates with Gabby Harvey? Yes. We have two angels amongst our outstanding students of the year. Go angels. Does your team do this when they win? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay, so you're also a swimmer like Connor, right? Yes, I'm a member of the Middletown Dolphin swim team. Wow, you and Connor have a lot in common. You both participated in Word Masters, and you both like social studies. Wait, are you guys twins? No. Siblings? No. Best friends? No. Okay, so let's end with one more interesting fact about Haley. It says here that you are known for learning random facts. Do you care to share a few? Um, 250 million people play soccer in over 200 countries. Wow. Doesn't surprise me, it's soccer trivia. How about you, Connor? Do you have any random facts? Um, I don't know if this is random, but I know that you, you have to get over to Reed to interview their outstanding students. So you should probably wrap things up here. You're not wrong. Okay, congratulations. To both of you, I gotta go. Oh. Sorry I'm late, guys. How long were you guys waiting? 11 minutes and 37 seconds. Whoa, you're like really good with numbers. You must be Strummer Woodworth. That's me. I hear you're good at math and science, I'm guessing from your good knowledge of numbers. Do you want to tell us about some of your experiences here at Reed? I've been in Continental Math League, Math 24, um, Word Masters, Excel to Fitness, 
Um, uh, gifted seminars with Mr. Davis. Uh, I played the saxophone in band and I was the American Legion essay contest winner this year. So let me guess, you like to read. Yep, how do you know? Well, because good readers tend to excel in all academic areas. So how about outside of school? What do you do for fun when you're not reading? Um, I participate in Olmstead Soccer, Dolphin County Nerf Club, Communities That Care, um, Youth Corps, and I helped with Raider Packs. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say Dolphin County Nerf Club? And how can I get on that? Uh, my that Anyone can join. My dad started the club and we bring around equipment. So, like, when do you guys do it? Um, the last Saturday of every month. And how many people play? Uh, about 40. And where is it at? Um, the field next to Mill Street in front of Crawford Park in the summer and Wait. during the winter we do it at the First Church of God. So what games do you play? Um, Captured the Flag, Humans vs. Zombies, and Tower Defense. Wait, what's Tower Defense? It's tower Defense is where you have a tower made out of cups <coughs> and um, you have to knock it down. What about Capture the Flag? Um, you have to like, capture Excuse flags me, sir. that we need. Huh? What? Um, can I go back to class now? I really, really like learning new things. Oh no, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Please don't leave. We are excited to get to know all about you. Okay, so this is Nisea Wright, one of our six elementary honorees. Nisea is our most creative and definitely our most artistic student. She loves reading, writing, and art, and she combines all three of those skills by writing and illustrating short stories. So Nisea, why don't you tell us about some of the short stories you've written? I like writing mysteries, and I love writing action and adventure. So you're also very musically talented, I've heard? Yes, I am the select chorus. I was picked for African drumming, and I like writing songs for my family. You're a songwriter? Yes. That's so cool. Could you perform something for us? Um, now? I mean, just little. I'm sure you can do it. Okay, um, starting today, star, star, star in my head, keep out of my head. Keep out of my life tonight. Light of my life tonight. I just want to dance, dance, dance till I break. Swear to life, you'll never make no mistakes. Wow, that's amazing. So what else do you do in your free time? Um, I play rec basketball. So is that how the chin happened? Um, actually, yes. I was trying to get a ball from a boy and he put his foot under mine. I went up in the air like confetti and dropped. Wow. Now, what else do you do? Um, I like going to the library, and I like riding my bike all around town. I cook and I draw, and someday I'd like to teach art to little kids. Hey, that was a great job, guys. I love meeting both of you. BTW, I could totally take both of you out in the nerf bed. That's a lie. I don't know about that. Trust me. No help. Oh. Next up, we're going to head over to Timmy to meet some outstanding staff members who are about to end their careers here at Middletown. Karen Battenhausen has served at Middletown for 25 years. She began as a learning support teacher at Fieser Middle School, which then became Middletown Area Middle School. Later, she transitioned to Fink Elementary as a learning support teacher and emotional support teacher. She's ending her career as a Title I reading teacher at Fink Elementary School. Betsy Bursler is our longest serving retiree with 34 years in the district. She began as an instructional aide at Demi and then Kunkel. She has spent the last 20 years as a library clerk at Fieser, Fink, the high school, and the middle school. Mike Block has worn many hats in his 28 years as a part of Middletown's operations department. He has been a custodian, a head custodian, the mason and carpenter for the district, a trades assistant, and was also on the grounds crew. Mike retired in April, but before he left, he took the opportunity to meet with Dr. Susky one last time. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is... Let me take some notes. Yeah, okay. start taking notes. This is how I want you to run the district. Okay. And then when you're done, report back to me and let me know what you came up with. Okay. So, uh, I'll give you a week to get all this stuff. 
Susan Davis has been teaching all around the district for the past 33 years. She was a learning support teacher at Alice Demi Elementary School, Fieser Middle School, Fink Elementary School, and Middletown Area Middle School. She also served as a gifted teacher and an emotional support teacher. Mrs. Davis also filled her schedule by taking on added responsibilities. She was the special education department chair, a web page specialist, the man student council advisor, and an extended school year teacher. Jonathan Dickey has spent the past 31 years as a Blue Raider. He has been a learning support teacher and a special education teacher at Fieser and the high school. He served as a high school special ed chair and the Keola online learning K-12 special ed case manager. Outside of the classroom, he has served as the assistant football coach, JV baseball coach, athletic equipment manager, and head track coach. Barbara Ebersole has been an instructional aide around the district for the past 25 years. She began at Fieser Middle School, then made her way to Fink, then Demi, and lastly, at Reed. Linda Epley has been an elementary teacher at Reed Elementary for 14 years. During her first 13 years, she taught first grade, and this past year, she finally graduated to second grade. Ed Heisey has spent over 10 years at Middletown Area Middle School serving as a custodian. Robert K. Stitt, a.k.a. Bob, has spent the last 32 years of his life in the shop room at Middletown Area High School. He has also served as the Industrial Technology Department Chair. When Mr. Stitt wasn't designing, building, or welding, he was on the soccer field coaching boys and girls soccer teams at both the middle school and high school levels. Kathleen Weltmer finished her 25 years of service in December of 2018. She was an instructional aide at Fink and Kunkel and moved to the high school as an instructional aide and special education clerk. Congratulations to all 10 of our retirees for a job well done. Thank you for your dedicated service to our students and our district. You will be missed. Now go enjoy the beach or your fishing boat or your grandkids, a cruise, um, Las Vegas, Paris, or you could come back as a substitute so you don't miss us. 